The stars in Super Mario 64 are spectacular, but in this video, we're not going to be looking at collecting the stars, we're going to be looking at the star names. When we played this game for the first time, we relied heavily on the star names for hints, and without these star names, this would be a vastly different game. The criteria for ranking the star names is going to be how helpful the name is, how clever the name is, and how iconic the name is. I will be ranking these names based on the English translation of the game, although I might look at some other languages for some neat tidbits. Although there are 120 stars in Mario 64, only 90 of them have official names. There are 15 courses in Mario 64, and each of them have 6 stars, and this makes up the 90 stars with official names. Out of the remaining 30 stars, 15 of these are the 100 coin stars for the 15 courses. These stars don't kick you out, therefore they don't have official names. Although in the strategy guide they are named, but these are never referenced in the actual game itself. And the remaining 15 are the 15 Castle Secret stars. 7 of these stars kick you out of the level, and the star name is technically one of the castle's secret stars. And the other 8 don't kick you out of the level and just give you a save prompt with no name. With all that being said, let's rank the 90 official stars. The worst star name in the game is Through the Jet Stream in Jolly Roger Bay. So the reason why I rank this one the worst is because this is not even a unique name. This name is used twice throughout Mario 64. Once in Jolly Roger Bay and once in Dire Dire Docks. The reason why I put the Jolly Roger Bay star lower than the Dire Dire Docks star is because I think it's a lot worse of a hint. In Star 2, the ship moves away. So you have four stars prior where you see the star being here. You will swim by the star many times prior to selecting star six, whether it be collecting the red coins that's near it or going through the cave that's near it. So by star six, you're gonna be completely aware of this star. And although yes, you can technically get the star without the metal cap with perfect swimming, if you look in the strategy guide, it says metal cap is required. And for almost any casual player, they are going to need the metal cap. The hint through the jet stream doesn't really help the player at all. They might think they got to swim to collect the star. There's nothing about the metal cap. I think the German translation of the game actually has a better name for this star. The name in the German translation is walk through the whirlpool, which at least gives you a little bit of a hint that you might have to come back later. The second worst is fall into the caged island. The reason why I rank this one so low is because I remember me personally as a kid, I had no idea the owl existed, so I went and shot myself out of the cannon repetitively <laughs> until I happened to get inside the cage. And I feel like a lot of other people did the same thing. Nowhere does it say that there's an owl. And to activate the owl, you have to climb up a specific tree and hit the top of it. It just honestly never really made that much sense to me. This is another one where I think the German translation is better, where the star name is just Wake the Owl. Another pretty well-known thing about the star is the trick owl list to get the star without the owl. Seek the eight red coins, Big Boo's Haunt. This one just seems like really lost potential. Big Boo's Haunt is such a mysterious, scary level. And just seek the eight red coins? I was just expecting a lot more. Find the eight red coins from Bubon Battlefield. This name is nice because this is probably the first 8 red coin mission you'll ever do and it's nice for them to tell you that there is 8 red coins in total because that's something that you wouldn't know if you were playing the game for the first time. But this one's just a little boring. If you look at the Chinese translation, it's Bomb Kingdom's 8 red coins which in my opinion is just a little bit more interesting. Behind Chain Chomp's Gate. This one's just simple enough. One thing I've found kind of cool when researching this is the Japanese name for this is at Chain Chomp's Doghouse, which I think is a cooler name. Blast Away the Wall. This star is one of the most cryptic in the game, and I think this is a decent hint. Could be better, but I think it's a pretty okay star name overall. Time Jumped on Moving Bars. I think this is just the epitome of an average name. Just vaguely describes what you're doing. Swimming Beast in the Cavern. This is a decent hint, because this is Act 1, so you might assume Dory is an enemy, but this name makes you think that there might be more to this creature. Chests in the Current. Just solid name, good hint. Foot Race with Kuva the Quick. Great name. One cool thing I found out was in the Chinese version of Mario 64, this star is called Koopa Troopa's Track and Field Tournament. Elevator Tour in the Volcano. It's an okay name, but there's really nothing special about it. Red Coins on the Floating Isle. This one actually references the course and gives you a little hint on where the last two red coins are. Secret of the Hidden Books. 
This one just sounds a little bit mysterious, and it fits the level. Whirl from the Freezing Pond. This is a pretty hard star to find, and this is a pretty good hint. Inside the Ancient Pyramid. I like this one because they call it ancient, they didn't have to do that. It kind of sets the stage for when you finally go inside the pyramid for the first time. Another cool thing about the star is, in Chinese, it's called Pharaoh's Treasure. Blast to the Stone Pillars. It's to the point, and it tells you exactly what to do. Shining atop the pyramid. Tells you exactly where the star is, and I just like the word atop also. <laughs> Snowman's Big Head. Satisfying title, and a little bit ambiguous. Rematch with Koopa the Quick. I think this is just an ideal name for the star. Treasure of the Ocean Cave. This star name honestly just seems like it could be a title for a book or something, and it is very descriptive too. Snowman's Lost His Head. This is just a very intuitive name. I do prefer the German name though, which is Build a Snowman. Through the jet stream in Dire Dire Docks. Unlike the Jolly Roger Bay star, this name actually makes a lot of sense, and I think this is an excellent hint for finding this star. A big Penguin Race. Three words is all you need, and this one just cuts right to the chase. Shoot to the island in the sky. This one in particular kind of reminds me of Island in the Sun and Spirit in the Sky, like those two songs combined together. I don't know, I just think this star name is iconic. Red coins on the ship afloat. This is just a really good clue, and afloat is just a sophisticated word. Navigating the toxic maze. This name just kind of puts you in the mood to go exploring through a maze. Stand atop the four pillars. This is just a really good tip to help you find this star, and all around just a delightful name. Frosty Slide for 8 red coins. It tells you that it's the 8 red coin mission, plus it has a pretty suitable name for the course. Elevate for 8 red coins. This name might sound mysterious at first, but when you find the lift, it makes perfect sense. Pull Jumping for 8 red coins. In Act 1, you go to the submarine. And in Act 2, you get the chest by the current. So, when you hit Act 3, you have no idea that the sub has moved. So when you see Pull jumping for red coins, you're probably initially confused. And I think that this fact just makes this star name pretty intriguing. Blast the Lonely Mushroom. This star can be pretty easy to miss, so this is a pretty good hint. To the top of the fortress. Now we're starting to get to the stars with some alliteration in their name. Big Booze, Merry-Go-Round. I like the alliteration. And just the term merry-go-round, it just reminds me of my childhood. Plunder in the sunken ship. Plunder is just a really unique word, and it's a pretty good way to describe this star. In the talons of the big bird. This is just an excellent way to define the star, and I also like how speedrunners just refer to the star as talon. Scale the mountain. Just elegant, this name right here. In the deep freeze, I just find it clever that they refer to it as a deep freeze, you know, and it kind of has two meanings in a sense. Coins amassed in a maze. I think this one just has pretty brilliant wording. Hot foot it into the volcano. This one's pretty clever wordplay because hot foot it can also mean going somewhere in a hurry. Mario wings to the sky. This star can be pretty tricky to get, so this is a pretty good hint. Also, I find this name to be pretty iconic. Swingin' in the breeze. I like how they don't have a G at the end of swinging. And yeah, just pretty simple name, pretty good. Big Pabomb on the summit. This one has a little bit of alliteration, and it's the first star in the game, so it is pretty iconic. Wiggler's Red Coins. The area that you collect the red coins is right under Wiggler, so the star name's pretty fitting. Go on a Ghost Hunt. This one just really rolls off the tongue. Red Hot Log Rolling. This is just a pretty solid name. I like the German translation. It is Dance on the Tree Trunk. The Pit and the Pendulums. This one has a little bit of alliteration and just seems pretty fitting for TikTok clock. Mystery of the Monkey Cage. This one also has alliteration, and this one just makes me feel like I'm going on an adventure with this name. The Big House in the Sky. This describes the star perfectly, and also this always makes me think of Nathaniel Bandy, so it definitely gets some bonus points for that. Big House. Big House. The Big House is reality. Big House. Big House. Oh, this is the Big House. Big House. Into? The igloo. Alliteration. And it seems like it's the start of a haiku. Also, in Japan, this star is known as Spindrift's Home, which is a pretty unique name to be honest. Breathtaking view from bridge. Does anybody else remember looking off that bridge for the first time, just having your breath being taken away from that amazing view? Shoot into the wild blue. 
Wild Blues is a pretty nifty term for ska that you don't hear very often, makes it a pretty iconic name overall. Make Wiggler Squirm. This name's just awesome. I can see this being a book title. Roll into the cage. I think this is a play on words for roll cage, like a car's roll cage. I might be stretching it a bit, but I kind of take it that way, and for that I think it's pretty clever. Quick race through downtown. This one has the good old explanation point. And also, I just seems almost like nonchalant, like, oh, it's just a quick race through downtown. The Manta Rays Reward. This star isn't really obvious at all, so it is a very good hint. And the alliteration for Rays Reward I always thought sounded really good. Stop time for red coins. I always thought this star had one of the coolest hints in the game, pretty much telling you that if you go through the clock at 12, it'll stop the time, which will make getting these red coins a lot easier. The tip top of the huge island. I like the wording of tip top and just a pretty solid star name. Pluck the piranha flower. Pretty good alliteration and I think pluck is just a pretty clever word to use for this name. Metalhead Mario can move. It sounds like a baseball scout made up this name. Free flying for eight red coins. It has the alliteration and by this point of the video you know I like that. And it's just a pretty satisfying name for an eight red coin mission. Express elevator, hurry up. It has alliteration, it has a dash, it has urgency, it has an explanation point. What more can you want out of a star name? Board Bowser Sub. Super simple name, sometimes three words is all you need, plus it has that sweet alliteration. Slip Sliding Away, this one's honestly so similar to Bowser Sub with the alliteration and the three words. Five Itty Bitty Secrets. Itty Bitty is just one of those terms you rarely ever hear. And I think a lot of us just forgot about over the years, and I just think it's a pretty great name. Cruiser Crossing the Rainbow. This is a pretty excellent name, and it honestly sounds like it could be a name for a movie. Watch for Rollin' Rocks. Obviously the alliteration with Rollin' Rocks. And this makes me think of the AVGN episode where he's drinking Rollin' Rock on the Rollin' Rocker. I'm drinking Rollin' Rock on the Rollin' Rocker. Rollin' Rock? Rollin' Rocker! Also, the Pan and Coic video of Watch for Rolling Rocks in half an A press is so iconic. Watch for Rolling Rocks in 0.5 A presses. Lil Penguin Lost. I really like that they use the term Lil, and obviously there's alliteration in here. Chip Off Womp's Block. This is a play on words for the phrase, a chip off the old block, and I just think it's a really clever name. Pyramid Puzzle. Now we're getting to the names with perfect alliteration. And this is just a decent hint too, because this can be a pretty hard star to find. Eye to Eye in the Secret Room. This name has a pretty brilliant idiom. Bully the Bullies. Now we're at the top 20, we're getting to the fantastic names. This one obviously alliteration and Bully the Bullies, that's just so clever. Collect the Caps. This one's a little bit ambiguous, and it kind of makes you think a little bit. And I think it's a pretty solid name for this star, just from a hint perspective. 8 Coin Puzzle with 15 Pieces. This one I just find funny, just the fact that they specified that it had 15 pieces, like 8 coin puzzle probably would have been sufficient. It's just funny that they added in that detail that this puzzle has 15 pieces. It just seems kind of random and I've always liked that about this star name. Top of the town. I just find this clever because of the contraction of the word of. And obviously there's some alliteration, I just think this one just really rolls off the tongue. Scary Shrooms, Red Coins. It's funny that the only time they use the word scary is in Tall Tall Mountain, but those jumps from the mushrooms can get pretty scary when you're first playing the game. Can the eel come out to play? I like that this is the only star name in the game that has a question mark. There's something about this star name being a question that I just love. Secrets in the Shallows and Sky. This one is just pretty intriguing and mysterious, and in the end I think it's a pretty good star name. Stomp on the Thwomp. It's just nice that it rhymes. Shocking arrow lifts. This is just a great pun, plus it has the exclamation point. Boil the big bully. Fantastic alliteration, and a great clue. Big Boo's balcony. Now we're getting to the point of triple alliteration. Mysterious mountainside. This one has double alliteration, and it honestly kind of makes you feel like you're going on an adventure, and really sets the tone for this course. Tricky triangles. Double alliteration, add an exclamation point. What more could you want from a name? Go to town for red coins. I just think the double meaning in go to town is just brilliant on this star. Get a hand. 
The pun here is just magnificent. The localization team is really outdoing themselves with some of these names here. Chill with the bully. The pun in this one is just so witty. Amazing emergency exit. Now we're getting to some next level puns here. Shell shredding for 8 red coins. This name's just gnarly. There was even a whole Mario Jam shell shredding competition that was inspired by this star name. Wall kicks will work. Yes, I put this one as number one. The reason why is it has great alliteration. It just really, really rolls off the tongue. Like, wall kicks will work is just so fun to say. And it is also a really great hint about how to get this star. And for me, I think out of all the star names in the game, this one stood out to me the most for some reason. So I really felt that I should put it as number one. And that's it for this list. Thank you guys so much for checking out this video. If you could leave a like or maybe consider subscribing to the channel, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. And I hope you all have a fantastic day.